Welcome, and in this video, I am going to teach you how you can ignite magic daily through the practice of soul life balance and living with structured flow. So here's the thing. We all want to feel better in our lives, and if you are here on this page right now checking out this video, I am going to go ahead and assume that you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening period. And first things first, so many of us talk about spiritual awakenings and waking up in the dream and all these sorts of things. But I think you have already experienced this. And this is why you're here that we don't actually live in an ongoing state of an awakening. We have awakening experiences and it's up to us to actually integrate what we've learned, whether it's through plant medicine, a Kundalini awakening, or surrendering to the flow of life and just going within through meditation, anything else, given everything we've felt and been through in the past few years. So for these experiences, they're all great, right? Especially for those of you that work with plant medicines, we can get a roadmap of how to change and transform our life. But if we don't actually integrate and make those changes on a daily basis, then what's the point? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually be in the flow with the river as opposed to going upstream, how you can activate what I call soul life balance rather than practicing work life balance and really get a structured flow so that that you feel good throughout the day. You're able to tackle all of your obligations and things that you need to do. All those things that are part of this human experience while not actually losing the magic of being in touch with your inner world, your sovereignty, your divinity, your higher self, whatever you'd like to call it. So if that resonates with you, continue watching. Otherwise, Hey, that's cool too. So let's go ahead and take a second just to ground real quick. So if you'll indulge me in just closing your eyes and just starting to shift within, maybe rolling out the shoulders, picking the shoulders up on an inhale and placing them back down on an exhale and slowing everything down. Finding an inhale will expand the belly and bring that breath all the way up to the chest. Holding at the top. And through the mouth, we exhale, shoulders drop, belly to spine, let it all go. Once more, inhaling, letting the belly expand like a balloon and bring that breath all the way up to the chest. Sipping in a bit more air when you get there and through the mouth, let it all go. In your own time, just flickering those eyes back open and coming back to us. This is the power of breath. That simple exercise is just box breathing. It's a way to regulate our nervous system at any point throughout the day. And really, if you want to integrate your spirituality and feel connected to yourself, it's not about adding more things to your list. It's not about creating a to-do list to be a good spiritual person and checking off that list saying, hey, I did my breath work. Hey, I did my yoga. I journaled. I meditated. I did all these things. No, it's about connecting with what you feel in that specific moment, bringing the awareness moment to moment to be able able to access these different practices and healing modalities and tools that you have at your disposal to know which ones will serve you best in any given moment. And that is my number one tip in terms of how you can integrate. Now, a little bit about me, if you're not familiar with my story, I wasn't always a seeker. You know, I would say from a very young age, I had a lot of big questions and that's written. All of that is in my book, Soul Life Balance, A Guide to Igniting and Integrating spiritual awakenings. But for the majority of my life growing up in Silicon Valley, I really was focused on work and my career. I was never the fastest in sports. I was never an athlete. I tried my best, but the way I really looked for external validation was through business and through my career. I could be the fastest in business and that is how I excelled. I excelled in business and in Silicon Valley so much so that at the age of 31 years old, I was named to Silicon Valley's 40 under 40 list. It was like winning the Super Bowl for me. It was my 
ultimate dream to be named to Silicon Valley's 40 under 40 list. Talk about recognition and being on a list of distinguished leaders in one of the best economies in the entire world. Well, what happened after I achieved that amazing accomplishment was I actually felt more empty because you see, I was actually outsourcing my happiness and just trying to prove my worth on a subconscious level than actually being in alignment. I was so fixated on my goals that I would look at achieving writing three books in less than a year, building a million dollar business while working less than four hours a day and ultimately being named to this distinguishable list as the ultimate thing. I said, when I'm named to Silicon Valley's 40 under 40 list, that's when I know I will make it. When I do this, then I will feel X, Y, Z. How many times in your life have you said, when I have, or when I experience, or when this happens, I will feel X, Y, Z. That's not the way, guys. In yoga, the philosophy of sadhana, a Sanskrit word, teaches us to be in pursuit of the journey rather than focusing on the destination. One of the most powerful things I can teach you about reframing your intentions, your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, your goals, is that to name your ultimate potential is to limit your ultimate potential. I will say that again, to name your ultimate potential is to limit your ultimate potential. That is why when I've reached this pinnacle of success of being named Silicon Valley's 40 under 40 list, I actually felt less empty because I named my ultimate potential. It's the same reason why Super Bowl champions or you know extremely successful business people or anyone that's been chasing something achieves this level of success and maybe this resonates with you and you go, huh, I thought I'd feel different, or I thought there's got to be something more to this life. And that is my story. So ever since I first drank ayahuasca back in 2019, I was open up to the totality of the universe, open up to this whole world within, and I completely changed my life. I left Silicon Valley, moved to the beach in Santa Cruz, got out of the toxic relationship I was in, started to switch my career path, and Everything I was consuming, everything in my life was around soul development. Rather than personal development, a path that I was on, I switched to go soul development. That's a term that I talk about. And what it's all about is finding ways to bring back in homeostasis within. And I went on this deep, deep journey. I changed everything in my life from the relationships I was in, the podcasts and other content I would consume. And everything was around spirituality. And I did a deep deep dive. And a couple of years later, I ended up doing a yoga teacher training. I spent time in Costa Rica. I spent all of 2021 traveling so much. So I wasn't home for four weeks straight all year. I was a part of so many different healing ceremonies and modalities and learning all these tools and resources that finally in February of 2022, I published my fourth book, Soul Life Balance, a Guide to Igniting and Integrating Spiritual Awakenings. And on top of that, I started teaching yoga weekly leading men's groups twice a week. The end of 2022, early 2023, started facilitating breath work and launched this group, Structured Flow Integration. This program is for any of you that are looking to ignite that magic daily. If you are someone that knows it is so easy to go down the spiritual rabbit hole and almost want to leave this existence because you've tasted ultimate totality of existence, right? But you also know, hey, I want to be here now. And you're kind of struggling with your relationships, with work, with your identity, any of these things at all. If you're realizing that you don't want to get sucked back in to corporate or your career or work or relationships, but you also want to stay grounded. And while having that connection to your spirituality, this program and this community is for you. I guarantee you that if you give yourself the time and space to go within and you take this serious and you realize that you cannot outsource your sovereignty to someone else, you cannot look at a guru for all the answers and let them tell you what needs to be done. If you're willing to do the work and have a humble guide such as myself realizing 
I'm not a guru. I'm just here to guide you back to yourself, to remove the layers of conditioning and programming of society to really get to your own truth. If that resonates with you, please click the link below to schedule a completely free call with me. No strings attached, no obligation. Hey, listen, so many charlatans in the spiritual community and so many people filled with ego and so many people that just don't make me feel good when I go around and see spiritual circles and it's kind of slimy and salesy. That's not me. And if you feel that, I would love to chat with you because we need more people that can be lighthouses to show the way for others so that we can raise collective consciousness of humanity from this fallen state. So if that resonates with you, please click the link below and I'm looking forward to talking with you soon.